Time now for Eyewitness News, call 12 for action. It's often easiest to renew your driver's license online. But as Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell found out, it's also easy to end up on an unofficial website that is designed to make you think you're on the DMV's real site. One of the people I spoke with for this report is Kath. She's one of our Call 12 for Action volunteers, so she has seen plenty of money-making schemes over the years. She said she was directed to this site, which looked official, so she didn't think twice about typing in her credit card information. Kath Dykstra went online to renew her driver's license. Weeks passed, still no license. All of a sudden I heard, uh-oh, uh-oh, and she said to me, you've been scammed. So Kath rushed home and checked her bank statement. Indeed, the license renewal charge had gone to London. Turns out when Kath logged online, she was somehow redirected to mydriverlicenses.org. The site shows several options, including renew driver license. I don't remember that process of knowing I was going to another site. I was just following an icon that said license renewal. As she clicked through the site, she never noticed this message written in small font at the very top of the screen. MyDriverLicenses.org is a privately owned website that is not owned or operated by any government agency. So when Kath thought she was paying to renew her license, she was actually buying an electronic book with information about the DMV. She's not alone. A spokesperson for the Rhode Island DMV tells me the agency has received several similar complaints and added the DMV makes every effort to have such advertisers removed from the Internet. However, it is impossible to protect everyone from every deceptive site. So here's what you need to know. If you're logging on to do anything through the DMV, make sure you go right to www.dmv.ri.gov. You can also double check that you're in the right place because all of Rhode Island sites say official state site. And if you are redirected to a new site, just log off. I can see how it's easy to fall for that. Were you able to get Kat's money back? It's in the works right now. I actually called a, sp a customer service representative for the website today. He said that she'll get a refund within five to seven days. So we will, of course, follow up with him to make sure that all goes through. And of course, if you do have a consumer problem you need help solving, uh, we want to hear from you. Contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer, you can call that same number on your screen.